Right, this is the Roadrunner. It's a 1984 Bluebird on a Chevy chassis with a 8.3 Detroit diesel engine and an Allison transmission. Um, it's geared low for off-road use. It buzzes right down the highway um, comfortably at 55 miles an hour. <clears throat> um, I had it, I painted it, uh, had a professional house a uh, home painter paint it with Sherwin Williams tractor paint. Um, so it is actually, it's, it's, a, it's a strong paint. Um, yeah, I did the entire conversion myself. There is, uh, I believe, 1,350 watts of solar on top. The panels are good. The batteries are in the uh, storage compartment on the other side. It's got 400 amp hours of battery. Um, I believe the batteries have lived their life though and the batteries need to be replaced. I've got propane plumbed in two spots, the one for the stove and one for the hot water heater in the bathroom. Um, the hot water heater only runs the shower. Um, the goal was to plumb it to the back to a tank, but I never got around to it, but everything is there to plumb it to the back. <clears throat> you want to walk around? has shore power water. Uh, plug your hose right into this and that gives it water pressure. Um, the back door does work. And it can be locked from the inside just with gravity. Anything on top of this and it will not open. As we come around, I did block out a couple of windows. The windows are insulated and sheathed from the inside. This is 22 gauge steel. It's the same thickness as the sheet metal on the body. This is the belly storage, or the basement as I like to call it. There are some tiles left over for the bathroom. Um, this is the road flare kit. This is the uh, shore power cord. It's got, a 20, it's got 27 amp shore power. This is where the batteries sit. Again, 400 amp hours. The batteries do need attention. This is the cranking battery, and that is fairly new. It is there. It is a Duracell with a four-year warranty. I bought it two years ago. Here it is, the inside. Uh, first and foremost, let's fire it up. It's been about two months since I've started it. And as long as I've had this bus, it has started just like that. Um, as long as I lived in it, which was almost three years, I fired it up and let it run for a little bit, at least once a month. Um, the longest it ever went without being started was six months. And in that six month period, when I went to start it, when I, um, I it fired right up just like that. It has always run just like so. 27 amp shore power, just like any other RV. I actually bought this at an RV yard. So that's there. All right, this is the interior space, living space. Couch here has storage under both sides of the couch. There's a big storage unit there. This one is the same thing, quite a bit of storage. Um, this is a table that folds up like so. Custom inlay. That is a uh, turquoise sand from the Navajo Nation. It folds down just like that. All of the windows work. Um, underneath the ceiling panels, the side panels, and then underneath the bus has a professionally done spray foam insulation job, which makes a tremendous difference. Refrigerator freezer, chest freezer, plenty of storage, drawers, big drawers here. You slide out like so. Storage under the sink. Live edge slabs, 
Um, I love this stuff. Barnwood paneling, you can see all throughout the front. Pantry, closet. Copper rod, big drawers, two of them. Into the bathroom. There is a lovable loo compostable toilet, which is all taken down and cleaned right now. Custom shower with a water trough, tile work. This is a uh, Cubic Mini Grizzly wood stove. This thing has kept me toasty on many below freezing nights up in the mountains. And bed with plenty of storage underneath. Again, another live edge slab. 